Hey guys, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a spring home decor haul. I absolutely love spring decor, mainly because these are items I could leave out in my home year round. If you have been subscribed to my channel, you know I am right now going through and painting all of our oak trim in our house to white and it's just completely changed our home. So I'm redecorating the process. It has been so much fun to decorate, but I feel like I'm finally at a stopping point. Like. I'm happy with what we have outside of what I'm going to share with you today. So I have some Hobby Lobby, I have some Target, I have some Walmart, I have some Pier 1, and I have one little thrifted item to share with you today. How I think I'm going to do it is I'm going to decorate my home for spring first. I've kind of already started. And then wait until it gets a little bit closer to Easter, and then I'll pull out some of the Easter-specific items. What I found when I decorated for Valentine's Day was I got sick of it before the holiday was even here, and I definitely don't want that to be that way. So I'm going to wait and decorate for Easter probably in a few weeks. Maybe sooner, we'll see. If you wanna see decorate with me videos, maybe a decorate for spring or a decorate for Easter, let me know in the comments below and I would love to share that with you. I definitely plan to do a spring decor home tour very soon, so make sure you also leave a comment and let me know if you're excited to see what I end up doing with all of this fun stuff. So, shall we jump in? I think we shall. <music> Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I wanna start with was something I actually picked up at Goodwill. I was walking through and I saw scarves. They had just a whole rack of scarves. They were $2 each. And I like to decorate, if you can see that chair back by the front door there, I have a pillow that sits on there year round basically. I just change it out for each season. And I've been using a scarf to kind of drape over the chair just to give like some extra decor to it or I don't know, extra interest we'll say. So I found this one and I thought it was perfect because I'm going with like a blue, green, and white and black theme. It's just a blue and white striped scarf. It's super stretchy and soft and it has some fringes on the end. So I'm not definitely not gonna be using it as a scarf. I'm just going to be using it to drape over the chair and it is perfect. So instead of going out and buying like a big elaborate blanket, it, a scarf will do so I'm gonna go ahead and drape that over at my chair probably when we're done with this video and it's perfect for two dollars I was very happy to find that and it's just kind of something fun that you can easily thrift for way cheap and looks so cute on a chair so that's what I got from Goodwill and then I happened to be in Target one day and their bullseyes playground or dollar spot was finally stocked with some of their new stuff and these are all items that I will probably be using in my home year round not Easter specific at all which I'm really excited about this is probably my favorite thing I picked up from Target is this little wooden sign it says home um, these are, I think are even hard to find already which is kind of crazy but it's only three dollars it's kind of that black and white almost shiplap look to it I absolutely love this I'm thinking this is going to be going on my mantle you can always find a spot for a cute home sign. I I don't know, it's something with the word home. I feel like I have to buy all of the things. And going along with that, they also had the pillow. So I went ahead and grabbed the pillow as well. This actually kind of matches the navy blue, like, stuff that they came out with not too long ago either but the pillow was five dollars and it's so cute so I was originally gonna put this in my mudroom on that bench to just you know add a little decor to our new mudroom bench so I might do that but I also think it would look really cute just sitting on my couch until I bring out my Easter pillows so I might just put this on my couch for now we shall see but these are so cute I love picking up their little pillows so grabbed that this is also something I picked up for our mudroom. In that middle shelf, I have some extra room in there that I left available for decor. And so I found this little welcome sign. I think it's so cute. It's wooden, it was $3, and it's just gonna go ahead and sit on our shelf in the mudroom. So if we have guests or just family coming in there, we have a little cute welcome sign. I thought that was so cute. I absolutely love these things. Like these are things, like I said, you can leave out year round. They also have these super cute little woven baskets. So I've seen the small one and this is the medium one. The medium one is $5 and the small one is three. So I grabbed one of each and this is also going to be going in my mudroom on my little, what would you call it? My little folding table cart. I have a spot underneath for baskets. This matches kind of the color of baskets I'm using in there. So I grabbed that and this is going to probably become the kids catch all for things like socks and sunglasses, things like that. 
These are so adorable. The small one is actually in my closet already, otherwise I would show you, but I'm gonna use that to catch like all my random stuff in my closet. So these are just the most adorable baskets. I love those. And then I think the last thing from Target, this is not like spring specific at all, but I picked it up and I thought, you know what, I'll just share it because I think they're really cute. These are just new kitchen towels. Um, I cannot remember the price. I wanna say it was like, $5.99 or $4.99 for the two pack, but I love thick kitchen towels and we know I'm adding more gray into our home now and I loved the plaid, like it's just really, really cute. So you get the plaid one and then you get just the gray one with the stripes. I was in desperate need of new kitchen towels so I'm gonna definitely be using these. They had all kinds of colors, green, red, yellow actually was um, something that I almost grabbed but I went with the gray so love those. I think that is it. For Target, believe it or not, I'm trying to think, do I wanna do Hobby Lobby next? We'll do Hobby Lobby. So we just finished up working on our little pantry closet. If you've been watching, you know this, and I was looking for a pantry sign, and I decided to go ahead and pick this one up from Hobby Lobby. It's part of their spring collection. It's like a wooden sign, but it was on sale for 40% off as all their spring decor is, so basically all of this was 40% off. Um, so I paid about $11, so it fit the price that I wanted to pay, and it's the perfect size. So I went ahead and grabbed this, and it is perfect for our little couch storage room. <laughs> that was so graceful. So I got the pantry site. They have so many cute spring signs and decor. It's just, it's incredible. I love going there and just looking because it seems like they put out new stuff every single week. They have all kinds of new pillows. So this is actually going in our my, my playroom office, we'll call it now, it's kind of a combined space on my chair. So I wanted to jazz up the space, so right when someone walks in our home, they see like a nice chair with a pillow and a blanket. So I thought this pillow was so cute. It says, our nest, and it is amazing. I, is it down, is it feather filled? Yes, so I can easily wash the cover, which is also very important. So on sale, this was $15, so grabbed that. I think that's so cute. Love that. And then, let's see, before I get into like the Easter specific, let's stick to other things. They have amazing wreaths at Hobby Lobby, as we all know. So this one on sale was $12. So, I mean, you can't beat that price. But they have these, I don't even know what you call this type of greenery. You guys can tell me. This, I don't think that's, I don't know. You guys can tell me. But this is like a, it's not a small mini wreath and it's not a huge wreath either. It's like a medium. It's a good small medium size. So for maybe like a window pane or something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this, I have a little arch upstairs and I thought this is like the perfect pop of color that I need. Like I said, I'm doing like the green and whites and browns and blacks, that kind of stuff in my decor. So this is perfect. These are so cute and I love these wreaths, really great. So let's stick with more greenery here. I picked up a sprig, is this what you call it? I don't know what you would call it. Is that a sprig? Oh, I'm losing one. Um, but I picked up eucalyptus. I've never decorated with eucalyptus, but I wanna do a fun tablescape for Easter because we do host here. We have lots of family that come and I would like to do like a fun yet beautiful tablescape and I thought that these would be perfect with like some Easter bunnies and things like that. So I picked this up and it looks so realistic. I just think it's really, really pretty. So they had a few different options, but I went with the more like deeper, darker green one. I also picked up two of the mint little sprigs and I'm going to put these in my three basket thing I have hanging on the wall that I just showed you recently. I'm gonna take that yellow flower out. It just doesn't look right. Found a different place for that. And then I have this little tin bucket. So I'm gonna stick these in and we'll be good to go once I like shape them and everything. So I think these were $3 a piece. So they are super cute though. I think they are going to be perfect. And then I think that's... I think the rest is kind of more Easter specific. Nope, it's not, I lied. They also have these little metal houses in their spring collection. I actually picked these up like right away when they started putting the spring decor out. So you may have already seen these in a vlog, um, but I knew they were gonna go fast, so I wanted to grab them right away. So I grabbed two of them, and these are so fun to decorate with. Obviously, they're a little lantern, so you could put like a candle in there, but I've been putting greenery in mine, like just a little green arrangement, and I have one sitting on a lot of my side tables. They're everywhere, I have houses everywhere. So I just like these. Um, I cannot remember, but they were under $10 a piece. So got two of those, I love these. You'll see those in my home most likely year round. And then 
because I'm a house hoarder. I found this one the other day when I was in there. It was 50% off, so $10. And this is like a cute little wooden house. It has the black and the brown, which I'm loving decorating with just like subtle black. I don't want black everywhere because it's just too bold for me. So I loved how there's just a little bit of black in there. So I have fun plans for this on my mantle. Hobby Lobby definitely won out this year with the spring decor, by the way. The last thing that is non-Easter related from Hobby Lobby were these little olive buckets. These are, I mean, pretty small. They're really, really cute. And they were $3.99, but 40% off of that. So $2 and something. And they, have, they do have little wooden handles on them, but I've already put some lamb's ear in these. So these are actually on my balance scale, my farmhouse balance scale, which I can show you in a future video, but just a really cute, simple decor, and I could use this year round for sure. So love the little olive baskets. Some Easter specific decor from Hobby Lobby. So I finally got there when it was 40% off. They finally marked it on sale, and I've been holding out waiting. So I found a few like Easter specific things. I have a ton of bunnies already, so I didn't wanna buy a lot of Easter bunny decor, but I did pick up just a few cute ones that I knew I would be using because I'm doing lots more green. So I picked up this little guy. He's like a little green moss bunny. Full price, he's $7.99. So whatever 40% off of that is. So he is cute. And these are like, these are heavy. These are not like the Target Dollar Spot ones because those were like foam and lightweight. Like these are like wooden bunnies with like stuff glued on them, I guess. But, and then I got that one. So we have one that's kind of standing up and then one that's sitting down. So I'm excited to decorate with those. I'm actually thinking these might go on my tablescape. We shall see. But they were both, were they both $7.99? Yeah, they were both $7.99. And then you guys saw this bunny already. I mean, they are so cute. They have the cutest little gingham bunnies there right now. You could easily just set these on a shelf. I showed you in my previous like Goodwill video what I ended up doing with him. But he's so cute. Look at his little tail in the back. I paid $4, I think, for him. So, so cute with that little bow. They also have pink and yellow. So those are adorable. And are you noticing a theme? It's basically all green. So, and then I picked up two of these. These are like little picks. They're little bunny picks. It's kind of hard to see them in the bag, but there's two little bunnies in there. One's like, they're both kind of sitting differently. But what I do with these is I just take the picks off of them and use them on my tiered tray. So these are $4.99, so 40% off of that. The little, the little carrots here, the little gingham carrots. They're so cute and they're perfect for like filler items. These may go on my tablescape for Easter. Um, I have a few ideas in mind for these. Also it would be cute to just like put a couple in your tiered trays. If you are new to my channel, I'm obsessed with decorating tiered trays. So got that. And I was also thinking I might do some carrots with this little basket. They have these cute little metal baskets at Hobby Lobby right now. This is kind of like a minty green. So $3.99 normally, so two something for this. But I was thinking maybe a cute little carrot arrangement in there would be really, really cute. Also, you could do like some fun eggs in here. We'll see, but I grabbed that specifically because it's green and would work perfectly in my tier J. And is that it for Hobby Lobby? I think that's it. No, one more thing. This was sitting in my lap the whole time. I picked up some nests. I think these are adorable. They are, you get a two pack of them for $5.99 and then 40% off of that. So you cannot beat the price for sure. I might end up pulling out the pink and the blue eggs and doing some other eggs in these in my tablescape. I will show you when I finally decorate for Easter. So we got those and that is it for Hobby Lobby. Shall we do Pier 1? Let's do Pier 1. I picked up two pillows from Pier 1. I bought these over a month ago. It was like right when they started like sharing all of their like new Easter decor. Like I was like, those pillows are adorable. So they were buy one, get one half off when I bought them. I just ordered them online. They were, I think normally they're $14.99. So I mean, really good price really. But I loved this one. So it has the little, gingham black and white bunny. I fell in love with that one and then I also fell in love with this one with the little bunny tails. How cute are those? So they will definitely be displayed on our couch for Easter. So 
cute and honestly just a really good price too I was very impressed with that so actually this one was $19.99 this one was $14.99 and then I did the buy one get one half off so it all worked out so love those and then, oh, I got one thing from Home Goods, just a little wooden bunny. He was like two or three ninety nine, so I had Tear Trade in mind for him. But I think he also would be cute a lot of other places. It's just kind of one of those things where you have to lay it all out, start placing it places, and then you just kind of decide where things should go. So we'll see what ends up with him. But I originally bought him for a Tear Trade, but he's just really cute wooden bunny. And then last but not least is Walmart. I picked up just a few things. They really do have some adorable things for spring. Lots of lemon decor, lots of farmhouse decor. I was really good there because I don't need a lot of more stuff, but I did go with the little bucket in mind. I should have grabbed one at Dollar Tree, but I wasn't at Dollar Tree. So I just picked up one of these little metal buckets for like $2 or something like that. And I already showed you this. I'm gonna put the little mint leaves in there. And then I picked up this little spring tobacco baskets square, which is awesome. So just good for layering when you're decorating for spring. So lots of ideas for this little guy. And I wanna say it was like three or $4. They don't put the prices on things. So um, anyways, very inexpensive. This was like, yeah, this was $6.98 and I thought it was so cute. It says Easter greetings, cottontail. Love the green, and I'm gonna hang this kind of over by our door when it's closer to Easter. It's so cute in all the colors that I love, so love that. I picked up this little container of eggs. I'm gonna use this in my, mostly my table centerpiece. Love that, just all the different greens and blues and white speckled eggs. This was 288. And lastly, I picked up this little glass jar with the yellow birdie. You would think that green is my favorite color, but yellow really is my favorite color so i just thought the little birdie was so cute they also have bunny ones but they're more like a metallic -y look and i just liked how these ones looked so they had all kinds of colors i'm probably i'm not going to use this as a candy jar i'm probably going to use this for either little eggs or little like cotton filler i think would look really cute in there too just to display on a shelf somewhere so that is it that is my big spring and easter decor haul <laughs> let me know where your favorite place to shop has been i would say mine has been hobby lobby for sure i'm done decor shopping for a while you have my word on that i'm going to try not to go back to hobby lobby for a while but like I said, let me know in the comments below if you want to see some decorating videos. And then I will for sure be doing a home tour very, very soon. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe and thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.